Hi, I'm going to show you my Vim workflow um, by writing a small C program to find primes. Here I am opening up Vim. Um, and so I'm using a snip mate to um, include some C++ snippets. I'm typing ink and then control J uh, for uh, writing includes. So here I'm including that and in a similar way use control J main, control J, and so there we go. Um, I've, I've remapped uh, the, the column key to work uh, without shift because it's a very commonly used key. So just by tapping um, a semicolon, you get a column. Um, okay, so the for loop again will use uh, a snippet by snipmate. <coughs> so I'm starting here. Uh, let's let's see. Um, candidate. So you see in these snippets when you when you change the first variable, uh, it changes it in all all places, which may not be wanted, like in this case. So. As you can see, I'm staying in uh, normal mode and using uh, commands to navigate around, trying to s stay always in normal mode and not in insert mode. One of the very commonly used motions for me is CW to change a word, like in this case. So here we go. Uh, we're going through the candidate prime numbers. My first prime is going to be two, and my prime count is going to be one. And um, here, in this case, I'm in insert mode at the end of the line. I hit escape in order to hit shift I and go insert at the beginning of the line. So that's one usual motion as well. And moving a line is done again with D, D, and P. Uh, all right. Okay, so we will loop now through the previous primes, and uh, so we will check our witness. So, candidate is a candidate prime. We have a witness that may witness its compositeness, and if if it's actually divisible by witness, then it's no longer a prime. Um, so in this case, I want a flag variable, which assumes it's the number is a prime and then um, if we witness it's not a prime we're going to break there and I'm also going to do a little optimization here to only look below the square root of candidate so if I didn't find any divisors at that time um, I'm going to make the uh, I'm going to break the loop so yeah this is a common way to write an if I, I start writing the if um, I write the, the brackets here the braces and then when I'm at the bottom brace here I hit shift O to create a new line within uh, in this case I want to break and here as well okay um, so here I'm at the beginning of the for loop and I want to go at the end of the for loop what I will do is hit the dollar sign and the percentage sign I'm here and then using O I insert code there um, so if it's a prime number then I will insert it into my prime array. Uh, there we go. Um, again here I'm using um, a tab key to autocomplete. Uh, that's actually done using the variables that I've already defined. So when I have uh, many variables with big names like here, um, that's very easy because I don't have to actually type them. Um, Alright, so that's the first part and uh, we'll continue with another part.